Jude Davison is making a new start. She's turned her life around after living with drug addictions and a big part of her recovery has been moving into a refurbished Housing New Zealand home. My life was a mess. Um, I really couldn't go any further down. I came in, the carpet had been brand new carpet and everything looked brand new and I danced in my chair. Put it in one word, sanctuary. That means that I've got a home, not just a house. Housing New Zealand provides accessible housing to more than 3,700 disabled tenants and their families. Modifications are made to suit each tenant. Bench heights have been adjusted to suit her power chair and the bench is mounted on brackets so it can be easily adjusted. It's got so much room, it's light, I can do everything I want in this house I couldn't do before. Just getting around in a chair is much easier. Jude's newly refitted bungalow is easy to manoeuvre around. Walls have been removed to create space. Insulation has been added so the house is warm and dry. The bathroom is completely accessible. So this house here is a, is a good example of a house that's actually modified to suit specific needs. So things like ramps, wider doorways, bathroom, the toilets adjusted so that they can actually be accessed by someone with Jude's situation. For all our houses, um, both our new and existing, there's a, a real focus on um, making sure ha our houses are healthy and warm, um, so the heating, insulation, curtains, and the other thing is that ventilation, which is really important. So we're sort of looking at it holistically, not only in the day-to-day -day things, but also in making sure that the, health, the house is a healthy house for the customer. A year ago, Jude was living in the State House suburb, three old duplexes on a large area of land. Housing New Zealand, the country's largest landlord, is replacing them with 17 warm, dry and fit-for-purpose homes in this special housing area. Investing billions in new housing across the country. All of Housing New Zealand new homes have been built to universal or lifetime design standards for more than a decade. Today we now have to look at the fact that we require more one bedrooms and two bedrooms and in some cases larger four and five bedroom houses that the families require. So in Auckland specifically um, we're finding also that we can respond to the opportunity that the special housing areas give us to make land available to be developed at a higher density using the unitary plan rules. Homes like Jude's are transforming the way tenants live, creating better futures for thousands of Housing New Zealand tenants. I feel peace, I feel joy, I feel safe, because it's a fresh new start for me.